Halloween has long been regarded as harmless fun, yet God has shown me that it carries a shadow of deeper spiritual conflict. But God has not revealed this to scare us. Rather, He is calling us to stand firm in His strength, to pray over our families, our communities, and our homes, declaring them places of His presence and protection. Imagine gatherings of believers across households, lifting their voices in worship, symbolically marking their homes with God's promises. The enemy thrives in secrecy and fear, but we are called to be children of light, to stand against darkness with faith and confidence, just as the Israelites marked their doors with the blood of the Lamb. Let us declare our homes as sanctuaries for God's peace, where His presence reigns. As election day approaches, I feel the weight of prayer intensify. God reminds us that while political processes are in place, the true battle is spiritual, not political. Scripture tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not human, but are powerful through God to demolish strongholds. The real victory lies in our obedience and trust in God's guidance. Amid the noise of opinions and campaigns, God calls us to listen to Him alone. As we approach these crucial moments, let us do so prayerfully, asking God to guide us with wisdom and discernment. Not bound by earthly concerns, but committed to His kingdom and His righteousness. The mystery surrounding November 21st serves as a reminder of our need to walk by faith. Although I have no specific details, I sense that this may be a day when God's presence feels especially close. It may be a time for deep reflection or a day of revelations, but God calls us to trust Him without needing all the answers. Our strength doesn't come from knowing every detail of the future, but from trusting the One who holds the future in His hands. Throughout Scripture, we see people of faith who trusted God in the unknown. Abraham left his homeland because God called him. Moses stood at the Red Sea with nowhere to go but trusted in God's power. Daniel faced the lions, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego faced the flames, all with an unwavering faith that God could deliver them. This same faith is what God asks of us now to trust Him, even when we don't have the full picture. Let's pray together. Father God, Creator and Sustainer, we come before you with open hearts, seeking to draw close to you. You are the beginning and the end, and we stand in awe of your wisdom and love. Today, we ask for the strength to walk by faith and not by what we see. We know your ways are higher than ours, and we ask for peace that flows from a complete trust in you. Forgive us, Lord, for the times we've allowed circumstances to weaken our faith. Strengthen our spirits so we may stand firm, just as Abraham trusted your promises. Give us the courage to move forward in obedience, even when the path is unclear. Remind us, Father, that you are the God who makes a way when there seems to be none. As we approach these dates, we pray for discernment and wisdom. Help us to stay anchored in your truth, guarding our hearts from anything that distracts us from you. May our confidence rest in your goodness as we walk in faith and obedience. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear friend, I urge you to take a moment to listen closely and prayerfully to a message that's been weighing heavily on my heart. This is not a warning intended to create fear, but a heartfelt call to greater spiritual awareness and prayer. God has been nudging me to share this with three specific dates standing out, each carrying a deep spiritual significance. The first is just around the corner tomorrow, October 31st, 2024. I ask you to hold what I share up to God's word, testing it through the lens of his truth. Just as the Apostle Paul teaches in 1 Thessalonians 5, 20 to 21. Do not despise prophecies, but test everything. Hold fast what is good. This message isn't about a rigid prediction of events, but rather a call to prepare our hearts. 
to be watchful and prayerful over the coming days. As I share these three dates, my hope is that we all seek God's wisdom, growing in spiritual readiness and discernment.